Well, good evening, everyone. Happy Sunday. Um, hope you are doing well with the time change that happened overnight. And um, I am here to show you some Christmas cards that I uh, am in need of mass producing. So there is a story behind these, and um, I'll get into that in a moment. But these are the six cards that I am going to share with you. Um, the paper is a fan favorite that returned in the holiday catalog, and it is Heartwarming Hugs is the pattern paper. Now, as far as the sentiment, also from the holiday catalog, it's this Holly Jolly Wishes. So, I tell you what, let's get started, and then I'll kind of get into my story here in a moment. So, um, I'm going to start with this card, and you know what, let me throw it in this corner, sorry. <laughs> um, but before I even do that, I just want to show you what I did with the uh, Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. I went ahead and pulled out half of the sheets. There's 12 total sheets, 12 by 12s. Uh, there's uh, two, or rather six designs, six double-sided papers is I guess what I want to say. So I cut it down into four by four squares. So I ended up with 54 squares of pattern paper. Um, and that's only half of the pack of the paper, four by four, and it is double-sided. So I'm using the four by fours in various ways on the cards. And this one is the one I wanna start with. I decided to make them simple, not a lot of layers, which is kind of difficult for me. Um, so bear with me while I uh, change over a new leaf, I guess. So <laughs> anyway, the card bases, they're all the thick basic white. They are all cut here at the five and a half by eight and a half, scored right down the middle at four and a quarter. So that's kind of the way to get going on some of your mass producing is to just make them simple and try and make a lot of it this, the same, I guess I should say. In a way, um, I don't mean exactly the same because I get bored uh, whenever I do exactly the same cards. So here's my card base. Here's my four by four square of paper. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this down. So card number one is gonna be super, super fast. So I'm just leaving the four by four. And again, it is double-sided. So you can certainly pick which side you wanna use. I decided to go with this one and so adhere it down you, you can put it near the bottom you can put it in the middle whatever you want I just stamped in the mellow moss here with my uh, or excuse me mossy meadow I always do that mossy meadow ink um, and then die cut with my circle layering circle dies and then I used real red for a layer underneath. So I did want to pop in that little bit of red. So yes, I am layering this up. I guess if I wanted to be really simple, I could have just left it with the white circle, but here we go. So I will adhere this down. And next, I'm just embellishing with some red rhinestones. So here they are. I'm going to use my picket tool and just add some of those in. So let me see. I'm going to just change it up a little bit and put them right in here. So there's that. And here's this one. Okay. Card number one's done, just like that. All right. So let me set this off to the side. I'm gonna bring in card number two. So what I did on this one was I took my, hang on, let me grab it. This is a four by four square of that paper. All I did was put it in my paper trimmer corner to corner and just cut it right in half. So right along the diagonal, all right. And that's where I ended up then with these two uh, triangles. So, 
Um, like I said, I get bored if I do the same cards over and over again. So sometimes all I do to kind of change things up is I just might flip it and there. I'm using both sides. I One of each side, I could even do it this way if I wanted to. Maybe I will. So that's the way it is when you have the double-sided paper. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hear this down, start to tell you a little bit about my story and the back uh drop of all of the uh, or the background of these cards um i think a lot of you know that my youngest is autistic and he loves volunteering at the food pantries around here they love that he volunteers and the reason being is that boy i call him a boy he's a young man but anyway, my boy um, does the work of a thousand people. They say when he gets there, he is shown what it is that he needs to do, how he needs to maybe pack the box, what all needs to go in the bags, and he does his job until it is done. He uh, is amazing from what I understand and what I'm told all the time. So I wanted to give back to all of the people that have been so helpful for uh, teaching him and getting him to find his groove. So what I'm decided and I've asked and I am donating cards, Christmas cards to go in the boxes or bags uh, of food that they give out to people so that they know that, you know, kind of, whether it's going to be just Kevin who signs his name, that's my boy, um, whether he's the only one that signs his name or if other volunteers uh, do as well, um, the, the recipient then knows that they have been thought of and they are being wished a very Merry Christmas. So, so that's why I need a bunch of cards. Um, so that's what I'm I'm doing here. So that's my story and I am going to start crying. So let's get going on here with the uh, card. Again, the same sentiment. This time I used real red ink and then I backed it up with uh, gold foil uh, for the layer underneath. So this time I'm going to pop it. Yeah, I love that he like I said, has found his groove. And um, it's definitely something that uh, warms my heart and makes me smile. Uh, I guess it's amazing. They, uh, the people that run it are thrilled when they know that Kevin is coming in to work for them that day. And um, yeah, so like I said, I just wanna make sure that everybody knows that they're being thought of for Christmas, so. All right, let me get out my rhinestones again. I'm gonna do the same thing. I liked how that other one turned out where I put them on just the circle. This one, I kind of brought it down here. That's what's fun. You just do it however, whatever floats your boat, right? <laughs> so let me put a couple here and then I'm gonna put a few more down here. So, Keep in mind, these are all beginning with a four by four square of pattern paper. And it looks different because it's different paper, but all it is is the other side. So here we go. Card number two, done. Let me pull out card number three. Um, same idea of cutting it on the diagonal. However, let me just bring in the parts. This time, instead of, I just have a, a full square here. Instead of going corner to corner, I just randomly put it in to, uh, on an angle in my paper trimmer and just cut, all right? There was no rhyme, reason, or measurement going on. So as you can see, I have these two pieces. They are diagonal, but they are kind of cut. One's a little bit shorter than the other, you know, whatever but I didn't want to have to, like I said, measure or take a lot of time in that regard. So here we go. I went ahead and did all the stamping of the sentiments because I knew with six cards that I was going to demonstrate. Um, and there are a lot more ways that you could do these uh, with the four by four 
paper. You could cut it in so many different other ways to really make this really cool. So let me just turn this here so I'm not bumping the camera. But anyway, because like I said, of having my uh, all of these cards, I wanted to go ahead and get the sentiment stamped ahead of time. So so that I can just really just kind of explain to you what I'm what I did and I did this this afternoon all six cards this afternoon and got prepared for these six cards so already I'm gonna have 12 cards in my stash uh, to give to them uh, at the food pantry so that's kind of uh, how quick and easy these are now, let me just bring this one in for a second. Um, there's sort of a random bow. <laughs> uh, it's actually covering up a boo-boo. So I figured might as well put one on here too. But this time, maybe place it a little better. I don't know. That one actually kind of worked. So let me get my glue dot. Let's try that. This is take three on the glue dot. So there we go. Now I've got the glue dot and um, just kind of rolling it up on itself. And I'm just going to bring it down a little bit lower than where this one is. That one I uh, dropped, I caught an edge on my stamp. So there's it was a ring of, of ink that I didn't want. So that's why that bow is covering that up this time I could put it wherever I wanted so all right rhinestone time that's how quick these are so uh, I'm just gonna put the three let me turn this I'm I have to always turn these things differently so all right so I am trusting myself to make them straight that could be a problem but we'll give it a try one more and then I'll fuss with it if I have to. So, all right, here we go. That one is what? Card number three already. We're halfway done. So hang in there, just a couple more to go. So here is card number four. As you can see now this time, that four by four square was just cut at two inches. So I have two pieces that measure two by four. All right, this is just happens to be the other side of this one. So I just cut it at the two inch mark and I'm gonna put one up above and one below. Initially, when I was thinking about this, I was going to make two different cards, each with a two by four piece on, but I'm like, no, I'm gonna keep it all with the four by four square that somehow I have added it to the card and created some fun funness there, so. But see, you can certainly do that. Instead of putting both of these strips on here, you could put them on two separate card bases and have even more cards then for your stash. So this is what's fun with it. Just do whatever works for, for you, so. But I have not stamped the insides yet of the card, so I will be doing that um, a little bit later. And obviously I already have my sentiment on there. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Make Who's starting to sing that in their head now? <laughs> I know I was. Every time I stamped it, I started singing it in my head. Uh, this is the double stitched satin ribbon that's in real red. I just thought it would be nice to pop a bow on here to um, just to add a little something to it. So let me just see. Yeah, here we go. I'm just going to put it right down here. All right, trim up the tails if you want. I'm going to leave mine the way they are. You guessed it. It's time to add the rhinestones now. So pretty quick and pretty fun. So let me put, remember I always like, I usually like to go in, in odd numbers, three, five, sometimes even one, one, three, five is my usual. Uh, but every so often I will change that up, but not for this one. I'm gonna go with the three. 
Uh, but what was fun, like I said, I do get bored so, uh, making the same card over and over, but it was fun because I could use different papers then. I put the bow somewhere different. So, it, you know, it, it makes it look like a whole different card. All right, two more to go. That's all. Just two more to go. Now I've got some one that's jingle all the way. And what I did here was the four by four piece that I have, which is this one. I cut it in one inch strips, so one by fours. And this is the other side of it then. So I just am going to go ahead and adhere that down. I already stamped in pear pizzazz. I have a piece of uh, mossy meadow that is, uh, the scallop circle then for underneath. So let me move this over and let me go ahead. I want to go ahead first put these down just to give me an idea because it's four cross because I am going to put these right up against each other. So I want to make sure I have my, give myself plenty of room then. So Okay, let's get started adhering these strips down. Now, if you wanted to cut a layer of cardstock to mount these on to have another layer, another color in there, you know, feel free, feel free. But uh, like I said, I was I'm aiming this time, which this is very hard for me because I am big on layers. And um, so yeah, this is not uh, an easy task. This is going outside the box for me. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead. You don't have to use pattern paper. You could, you know, use cardstock in here uh, if you wanted to uh, emboss it even too, uh, using uh, an embossing folder. And uh, that would be great too. But um, yeah, so many possibilities, so many. So I just, like I said, I had some of this paper from last year and thought I would just go ahead and I love the colors that it uses. The Mossy Meadow, Pear Pizzazz and Real Red. So very, very Christmassy. Plus it gave me an excuse to use up some of my paper and I could actually do this and use up the whole pack and get a bunch of cards out of it. So you never know what else I'll come up with. <laughs> Neither do I, so. <laughs> so, okay, let's go ahead and get now our sentiment on and then we'll add I am going to go up a little bit here, and there we go. The rhinestones. I have got all kinds of the paper uh, from the backing, from the dimensionals in the way here. Let me see. So I figured I would go crazy um, a little bit with my rhinestones uh, since I'm not going to be mailing these. They're going to be going inside of a package, uh, a box or a bag. Yeah, so I thought, yeah, I can go ahead and, and put on all the ribbon and embellishments that I want. So, okay, here it is. Let me get my backings off out of the way. Card number five already. I should have started the clock, the countdown, to see how fast this is going. Last card, number six. Um, again, I cut my four by four square into two inch by four inch strips. So this is the paper that I then cut and I'm flipping it over to use the other side of the one, all right? I have a strip here uh, with the fa la 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 la, and it whatever the width is to fit the sentiment, and it's four and a quarter long, so that it goes all the way across the card. So, first one up, I'm going to use the one side, and then. go. 
go. And then let me use this one. Sometimes it throws me whenever I flip it over and start to put the glue on and it's like, oh no, I have it on the wrong side. Since they're the, you know, it's the same paper, just the opposite side since it's reversible, but, or double-sided maybe I should say. So, all right, so that's all I'm doing is putting those two pieces and overlapping them here in the center. My sentiment strip is just gonna go across. Yes, I have some of my dimensionals. Now, um, the reason I'm using the black dimensionals is because that was what I could find on my desk. So, <laughs> if you're wondering, hmm. And, you know, you can't see through it, so I'm like, yeah, it's fine. It's all good. All right, so there's my sentiment. Time to add a little bit of my rhinestones. So just like that, you can turn, I'm gonna make them, let's see, what can I do here? It's gonna be different. Well, I'm making it crooked for one thing. There we go. And I will do three on the other side too. And last one. Okay. So here I did six. I know that's an even number, but I'm looking at it as if it's, you know, three and three. So for some reason, I'm okay with that. This one, yep, I did four. I don't know. Uh, but I think it still looks just fine. So anyway, so there are the six cards. Um, it is been so much fun coming up with these and just start cutting up your paper like I said four by four you can get if you just do half of the pack of the 12 by 12 paper you're gonna get if it's six sheets you're gonna end up with 54 squares four by four um, that's a lot of cards that you can make that way so um, but I don't know if I'll just end up doing the whole pack or just what I'm going to do. So anyway, here we go. Just trying to bring some of these in. Just showing some of the ones we made today and some of the ones I made earlier. So, so let me see if I can get them all in. All right. Whew. Already I've got 12 cards made for my stash to give away and um, I couldn't be happier with the way they turned out. So I have got some crafting to do. Hope you get a chance to do the same. Uh, Christmas is coming, I know. I know Thanksgiving's still coming, but let's work on some Christmas cards. How's that sound? So anyway, hey guys, I hope you have a great rest of your evening and um, I'll see you next week. Bye now.